And of course, people were very excited for Yeshua to be uh, uh, the bringer of all the bread and to feed them, to be the bread man. But he said, I am the bread of life. And he gave them a theological discourse. The theology of salvation that we saw dealt with human responsibility. It dealt with divine election. And it dealt with the eternal security of those who put their faith and their trust in the Messiah. Three major prongs to the message. He, through the message, he became more and more what I, phrase I coined, uh, called antagonistically cryptic. Became more and more difficult to understand. Uh, and uh, his language became slightly more and more and more inflammatory. Uh, so that was a way of weeding out those who were not interested in hearing the message or didn't have eyes to see, spiritual hunger to see that he was being, uh, bringing the bread of life, not just bread to fill the belly. He told them to drink his blood and eat his flesh. And they said, ah, what is that? Uh, Jews are not even allowed to have any blood, uh, can't even eat a rare steak. Uh, and he wants us to eat his flesh and drink his blood. Uh, that's harsh, dude. And so there were many of his disciples who were following him to this point, And they said, no, no, no. After this, that's, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. And uh, we are withdrawing from our professor's class. Uh, this is too much. It's too much. We saw that what Yeshua called his disciples to in John 6 was radical discipleship. And the basic diagnostic question that we saw was, is he in you? And we talked about when Jesus, when Yeshua speaks of eating his flesh and drinking his blood, he's not being literal. He is uh, speaking of radical discipleship, speaking of integration to combine separate parts, he and you, into a unified whole, incorporation, blending, combining thoroughly to uniting as in one body internalization, absorbing something that it becomes part of self, and appropriation, taking possession for a particular purpose. So is he in you? Are you in communion? Is he in communion with you? That is the radical discipleship of the bread of life discourse. The integration, the incorporation, the internalization, and the appropriation, which three I's and an A, which I like to pronounce better, I, 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 uh, uh, and let's move on.